This is a working title. But welcome to Characters, Characters, Characters. Where me and Anthony we discuss characters. Characters that we feel others should be able to use in their own works. That is why this is produced under the Creative Commons license attribute 4.0. More details in the description. Since this is our premiere episode, I will be going over some, a character that has been requested for me to give more details on. Shatter, aka Shatter Ala Tanaka, aka Shatter Ala Hope, aka Shatter Ala Tanaka, Hillstead Roll, Hope Tanaka. That was a mouthful. Shatter is a half human, half gold dragon cleric of the god Hor, who is it's who is a Forgotten Realms deity who is the god of retribution and revenge. Shatter has several features of a gold dragon, such as gold scales, gold wings, and gold catfish like barbell slash whiskers. In addition to this, Shatter has green eyes. She has naturally blonde hair due to her dragon blood, but she prefers to dye it red. When it gets long, she keeps it in a ponytail until it gets too long and interferes with her flying, which uh, then she cuts it off. Like most, Shatter being a healer who believes that she is not worthy of her spells has healed most of her injuries the naturalistic way and has also become a master surgeon so that people who can't afford clerics and the higher level spells have a way to continue living after getting an L to the knee. Shatter stands about Five foot six inches. Average build. C cup. Her body from her neck down is covered in the scars of being alive and in as, as many battles as a person would be in after several hundred years of life. Shatter cares about people who can't really defend for themselves. That's why she's built a hospital out of a warehouse and eventually built a proper hospital. She started a military order and she went around helping out the people that were being attacked by gangs, terrorists, cultists, and other ne'er-do-wells. As long as they are truthful, she provides magical aid to them. You have any questions? Yes. Um, so the so what is your relationship between Shada and her di- deity? Uh, like when she's opening up these cleric. The- opening up the hospital, opening up these halls, uh, or her mercenary group, are they in her name, in the name of the city, or the name of her deity? The hospital would be probably in the name of the city. The military order, Shada set it up, but she set it up in a way that she doesn't have to really bother with it, and she did that by giving them a code of ethics so that they could become her deity's military order. And then my second question is, did Shada have any inspirations? Or, like, did anyone inspire you when you were creating her or in the development of her story? Shada has such a long and trepid history with several marriages. I remember creating Shada originally, and that character looks nothing like Shada today. Shada was originally a full-blood human fighter. And is this because, like, Shada has been in more than one campaign, uh, like, where you've used her? Or has this just been one very long campaign? Shada was created and I played her on a MMORPG called Neverwinter Nights. I played her from about 2005 to 2009. And, um, you know how much I get into RP. (laughs) Yep. So, Shada's loved a lot, lost a lot of loves been married several times, watched her husbands either go insane, go evil, or die. That she, um, Shadow's very bitter and stubborn. One of the things Shadow's been trying to do is figure out what caused and how to cure the scar, which is a thing that taints the landscape outside the city she lives in. 
She has spent probably decades, but at least years, trying to figure out. So how old do you think she was when she first started adventuring versus the age that she is now? Um, also, has your character ever perished? My character probably started adventuring in her early 20s because humans age quickly, and she's probably two to 400 years old now. Forgotten Realms being such a world of high magic, yes, she's died a few times. And she's always found a way back. Yes. Is there a reason why you enjoy RPing her so much? I don't enjoy RPing her anymore. Well, when you did, but why did you enjoy? I don't enjoy RPing Shatter anymore because Shatter has become stubborn, bitter, grumpy, bitchy. She used to be caring, loving, kind, sweet, you know, enjoyable things to roleplay as. <laughs> yeah, but like everything, you either you get pushed down by the pressure or you come out the other side a different person. And obviously in, obviously in a high magic campaign, it, it does get that much harder to keep your original jolly self when larger and larger threats are being thrown at you. Um, like, I know you've mentioned that she's been married, uh, but does she have any close personal relationships that she's had over the time? Like, or would you mind, like, giving maybe one or two of, like, the most important connections that she's had? So, the way I've worked her history is her, her dragon blood was suppressed at birth so that she could have a normal childhood. And then something happened, caused her to become an orphan, and then a street kid. And, uh... Her longest relationship, and probably her closest relationship, is with her adopted mother. Was her adopted mother also a human, or...? Uh, uh, what Shannon knows about her adopted mother is her adopted mother is a very tall humanoid that is, has elf features, but is not an elf, who talks in the plural third person. Her mother is the one person Shadow tries to do good Emulate? by. Okay. Why, why should people play as Shadow? If you're writing a story and you need a surgeon that is not human in a fantasy setting, Shadow would be a good option. If you need a high-level quest giver that, like me, believes there's always, there should always be at least two to three different options, who the world isn't black and white, it's shades of grey. Shad is a good option for that. Also, if you just need a way to bring your party back to life after t t TPK, Shad can raise them and have them help her out with something. In and has... Is being used as an NPC. That is what caused me to decide to create this series of video. Are there any other forthcoming characters that you think will be that we'll be doing an episode for. Do you have any characters you want to do an episode for? Well, I can think of one <laughs> that that we're we're ending a campaign for, I think. And um, I have other non D and D characters that will probably show up. Oh, I have a few of those. Is there anything else that you want to talk about, Shadow, or anything that you feel like we haven't covered? The highest stat was Wisdom, and due to being a half-dragon in 3.5, you get plus 8 to Strength, so that wasn't too bad either. Being a half-dragon gives you a lot of bonuses. I can imagine. I wouldn't know how to con- I- I wouldn't know her stats off the top of my head, but I know she has at least 20 Wisdom, if not higher. Thanks for your help. No I problem. wouldn't have done this without your help. <laughs> Anytime.